How's it going guys? Noah here and welcome back to another video. So if you caught the last video, we were opening up my friend's grandfather's old card collection. We got through the top shelf, but we still had two more and we had the red box to go through. But I realized that I forgot, I pulled this out of the first shelf and I never actually went through it. So we'll quickly go through it. I believe it's just a 1983, I think it's the full Mets uh, collection. I kind of went through it off camera, but so we'll quickly go through that. I'm sure this is worth something. Having a full collection of one team is pretty cool. So just thought I'd show that because since I accidentally skipped over it. So without further ado, let's get into the second shelf here. I'll try to pull these out. There's a lot in the second shelf. So we'll try to go through them quickly. We got All Star Andy Van Slyke. That's pretty cool. We got Johnny Bench. Chuck Finley, Marty Barrett, Betty Santiago, George Bell, Al Oliver, All-Star Reggie Jackson. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And then we got a Bowman Heritage. I thought that was Bortolo Cologne. Look at the nice young Bortolo Cologne. This card was printed in, come on, focus, 2001. And he was playing up until a couple of years ago, so it's pretty cool to see him young. We got a John Turd. Okay, I thought I, I thought that said something else, but never mind. We got a Eric Davis, Rick Shutcliffe, Dave Stewart, Matt Williams, Brian Smith. I haven't seen anything yet that uh, sticks out to me. I know in that box, I'm not going to lie, I... Uh, Got, I started getting, oh, there's a nice Sammy Sosa card. I started getting a little uh, anxious, and I uh, took a peek inside the uh, box, and let me tell you, we got, is that a young John Lackey? It is. A young John Lackey. Look at him. Look at that. He hasn't aged much at all. Um, but, yeah, so I looked in. Oh, we got a nice Nolan Ryan, uh, Nolan Ryan super veteran card. Not too uh, shabby. And we got a few more. We got a Nick Eske. But, um, yeah, there are some great things in there. So that's going to have its own video because I think we're going to see a lot of cool stuff inside of that thing. I am very excited and cannot wait to look through it. So there's the first stack of cards. Nothing really sticking out to me. We'll go in. There is quite a few in the second one, let me tell you. Unfortunately, some of them are warped, but it's not too hard to take care of. You can either put them in a binder or just... Oh, there's Joni La Russa. I mean, Tony La Russa, sorry. Young manager there. He is now retired. No longer managing anybody. Uh, brought the uh, Cardinals to a World Series win at one point. Mike Flanagan. So I'm actually going to talk to my friend about getting this card. So fun fact, Mike Flanagan is actually my... I believe it's my grandfather's uncle or cousin. So... I'm actually related to Mike Flanagan. He unfortunately took his life at a very young age. But um, he went to the same high school I went to. They actually named the baseball field at my high school after him. But this card's actually really cool. And I've wanted to have one for a while. So we're going to put him back there. So hopefully I can talk to my friend about getting that. Because that would be really cool. And uh, it's a nice little story to tell people that uh, I'm actually related to Mike Flanagan. It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, how's everyone doing today? Time of recording, it is Saturday afternoon. Uh, I went for a drive today to get out of the house after being cooped up all day. I went back to work last week. I uh, do construction, so we're considered an essential business. But I went back last week. This is my first weekend. Aussie Smith card, not too shabby. So I'm um, just kind of relaxing today, recording some videos, went out for a drive, and then just finished doing a little uh, grilling, enjoying the nice weather out uh, we have where I am from today. There we go, an 81 Highlight Pete Rose, not too bad. So there's a lot of, uh, main, a lot of mainstream guys that we're pulling out right now, so it's pretty cool. I'm going to move this Mike Flanagan... Because he's in the way of the drawer, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, there's a few cards in here that uh, I want to talk to my friend about possibly getting. Here's a Mark McGuire from uh, 88 Don Russ. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's a few cards here. I wouldn't mind 
getting from my friend to add to my collection this is Greg Maddox. Um, I like I, I collect some obviously some of the higher end cards, but there I also have like a personal like I guess you can call it like a just a personal preference collection I guess, but that's where I'd want that Mike Flanagan where I have all my there's Dwight Evans look at that mustache where I have all my um like my Chris Carpenter cards and all cards that to some people aren't really worth too much, but Carlton Fisk, all-star right there. Bobby Bonelva, nice. But uh, to me, they mean a lot, so I'll have to talk to him um, probably next week and see if we can work a deal out to, for me to get some of these cards. But So I haven't seen anything really that's sticking out to me in these video uh, in these cards compared to the last one so oh, there's a Bo Jackson not too bad uh, Mike Schmidt that's pretty cool Cardinals legend right there and there he is Mike Schmidt again I'm dropping cards now there is a lot here we're gonna quickly try to go through this I want to get through both of these shelves today Barry Bonds card it's pretty cool Young John Smoltz, he took over the last episode. There was a lot of John Smoltz cards. There's another Greg Maddox. Johnny Bench. Let's see, we got Andre Dawson. Let's see if we can see. I want to see if we can find some more rookie cards. There's another Bo Jackson card. Um, there was a couple last time that were pretty cool. Like that Gary Sheffield's amazing. It's a really nice looking card. Um, and like I said, I cannot wait to get into that red box. Because it seems like there is a lot. Of rookie cards and a lot of cards that could be worth something. There's Roger Clemens, Ozzy Smith All Star card, Ryan Sandberg All Star card, and the last one is a Bob Welch. So we'll go into wow, there is quite a few. I'm gonna try to lightning round these right here. So we got Fred Lynn, Kevin Mitchell, John McNair. Quickly go through these, see if there's anything of note. Doesn't look like it. Quickly grab some more here. So I also, I went grocery shopping today when I was on my drive. And uh, I picked up a couple more things. I'm just going to move those real quick. A couple more things. Um, some boxes that we'll be opening next week. And I also have a couple orders coming in that... Hopefully should be here at the beginning of the week. And uh, some of them are pretty cool. I actually got one thing. Um, it's a football box. I believe it's from... No, I don't think it's Fairfield, but it's one of those third companies. Here's another Gary Sheffield Tops All-Star card. Um, that I, I've never seen before, but it's made by one of those third-party companies. And um, it has some pretty cool stuff in it, so I'm excited to open that. And I got some more hockey cards and i got a couple loose baseball fat packs that we can open up um as well but so so far unlike the first one we're not really finding anything there's wade boggs anything that's really sticking out to me like a rookie or just like a autograph or a gold parallel card none of that yet so there's oral hershizer that is his fifth or Fifth year in the league, not a uh, first or second year card. A couple right here, we got Jim Palmer and we got Robin Ute. So we have a couple stacks left inside of this. Probably have one more stack after this. So quickly fire through. Again, just seeing if there's anything in here. I went through pretty slow in the first one, but there is quite a few here so and some of them a lot of them are uh reprint or uh duplicates so i don't want to just sit here going through the same card so trying to go through them quickly so we can get through both of these today but um i hope everyone's doing well in quarantine um i know where i'm from they're talking about that the uh the lift that's a nice cal ripkin card from I'm guessing 88, 89. Um, talking about lifting it, there's another Cal Ripken card. There's a lot of Cal Ripkins on this side of the uh, 
In the back end here, we've got a Jack Morris. But they're talking about lifting it soon, so things might be going back to normal around where I live. But you never know. Could change in an instant, so I'm not going to think on anything. I'm just going to do what I can to stay safe and uh, keep others around me. Here's another John Smoltz uh, safe as well. We got a Pascal Perez, Brett Butler, Phil Nerko. This is an interesting Yankees leaders tops card. Uh, what do we got here? A Lee May, Bill Swift, Don Sutton, Rod Carew, Manny Trillo, Jim Palmer, Rob Murphy, Chuck Finley, Zane. Go through these. There's another Mike. Khrushchev card, Jesse Bearfield, see Corey Schneider, nothing. Uh, there's Tony La Russa when he was the manager of the White Sox again. Tony Pena, Loney Smith. There's another Mike Flanagan, so I'll add that to the other one. To talk to my friend about uh, John Rudy, Bill Hurst. There's another. Mike Flanagan, the third Mike Flanagan card. So I can be getting quite a few to add to my Mike Flanagan collection. Just Tony La Russa. And we're nearing the end of this stack and the end. There is a Mike Kelly. Uh, what is that? A, no, this is a regular card. Okay, I wasn't sure. Here's a star. Here we go. We got our first rookie card. Star rookie Corey Eldridge. So we'll stick him back here. We got Rafael Ramirez, Francisco Cabrera, opening day Tim Hudson, and another rookie Brian Pena. We got one of him in the first box. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna make a pause here. I'm gonna try to organize some of these cards up before we get to the rest of this. Alrighty, there we go. Things are a little more organized now. I'm starting to get the pile was too high. As you can tell, I'm not in my normal recording area. I'm actually in my kitchen. I was having problems. Um, with my setup downstairs, so I moved up here to just finish recording these. There's another Mike Schmidt All-Star card. Vida Blue, Rick Burlston, Dan Petrie, Greg Mitten, John Tator, Ozzy Virgil. Got quite a few. Interesting. Some of these guys I've never really heard of, but if you've seen my vintage openings... You don't know why, because I did not grow up with Bo Jackson. Eddie, Mur Eddie Murray card. That is not too bad. Got a Dave Stewart, Ryan Sandberg, Joe Morgan, Frank Viola. Two of them. A third of him. We got a fourth of him. <laughs> we got a Jim Rice card. Jim Abbott, number one draft pick. Is this a rookie card it might be actually so that's pretty cool we'll add this first draft pick card off to the side got a couple more there's another Kirby Puckett got a Rich Herbner Dickie Thon Mike Kruno Kruko we got a Ken Griffey card we'll have to take a look at this real quick Ken Griffey this is a highlights card so that's pretty awesome Whoop. Obviously, Ken Griffey and Ken Griffey Jr., a nice father-son duo. We got a Bob Grinch, Lou Pinillo, Steve Balboni. Another one, we got a Vita Blue again, Sparky Lai. We got a Johnny Bench, and Alejandro Pena. We got a couple other, we're almost at the end here, Cesar Sandino, Willie McGee. And I think this is the last stack of the second shelf here and then we only have one more left which i believe is filled with football cards so this will be the end of the baseball cards for now unless we get some in that red box which like i said is filled with goodies and i am super super excited to go into that box and seeing what we got in there hopefully for some nice rookie cards and uh like I said, I know there's one rookie card that I saw in there that um, I think is going to be worth a little bit. I got to check the condition when we get to it, but I'm very excited. There's an Ozzy Smith right there. We got a Tom Hank. We got a Mark Grubisica. Jose Canseco. Jose Canseco. Canseco. I don't know why I have it so hard to pronounce. 
Uh, we got a uh, John Franco, Bob Welch, Rich Gale, Julio Valdez. We got Sparky Live. We got a Carlos Martinez All Star card. We got another Tim Raines All Star card. Lee May, Jeff Reardon, Dave Steb, and Dave Steb again. So I'll make another pause here. I'm going to put all these cards away, and then we'll get into the third part. Alrighty, so this is all we have left to go through for this little blue shelf thing. So we got some football cards now. So we first card is a The Future. Is that Michael Jordan? It is a Michael Jordan baseball card. That's actually not too bad. I'm going to put that off to the side because typically anything Michael... Jordan related when it came comes to baseball, it's usually worth something. This is an upper deck superstar, George Eddy. We got a Tyron Williams. What is this? This is I'm not really familiar with what this is from. Oh, it's from Wizards of the Coast. That's pretty cool. So it must have been for some type of game. I'll have to look it up. And this is also a first edition. I didn't realize. So that's probably worth something. We'll put that to the side. Um, we got an Eddie Eddie a Reggie. Sorry, Reggie Roby here doing. Quite the uh, kick right there. Darian Connor, rookie card. Daryl Thompson, rookie. We got Gary Anderson. John Stevens. We got a uh, Peerless. Peerless Price. Who is this? Who is this? It is... I'm drawing a blank. Or is that his name? Oh, his name is Peerless Price. Wow. You can tell I'm uh, kind of out of it right now. I... I'm fumbling over my words today, and uh, I didn't realize that was his name, was Peerless Price. I thought that was the type of insert that was. My bad, the Peerless Price, but God, let's see. A Bob McRae, Don Stock, or Strock, sorry, Clay Matthews. Pretty cool. Go through these. We got Ron Heller there. David Lang. Go through. We got a few more here. See if we can get anything else. We got a Dan Wilkins Skybox card. Pretty nice. Season Ticket 2002. Mark Wheeler, John Hand, Daryl Clark, Harry Hamilton. I'm trying to see if we can find any nice rookie cards here. Ones are going to be worth a little something. There's Clark Gaines. We got a Layman Warren, I believe that is. Sam Mills, Stephen Gorgon. See if we got anything interesting in the back here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that is quite the name, man. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that one because we all know I can barely pronounce the normal, or I guess closer to normal names. So there's Kevin Lee. And we round it out with Alex Gordon and Robert Massey. So I'll move these to the side. Put a few more in here. A couple more stacks. Sounds like something sealed right here. Oh, okay. This is pretty cool. We got so where I'm from in New Hampshire, we have the Fisher Cats. So this is a Fisher Cats limited edition card. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. Oh, here we go. We got some basketball too. We got Irvin Johnson. We got a power up Manny Ramirez. That's quite the uh, interesting card. We got No More Garcia Para. Lance Berkman, we got a Jose Verdo, Mark Pryor, Miguel Cabrera, a Daki Matsui, those are interesting cards, I've never seen those before, we got an Expos there, names there we go, I'll turn them like this so they're easier to read, no, it doesn't look like anything there, what is this, a Tools of the Trade Memorabilia, Okay, this is numbered, actually. So this is 50 out of 250. Rocco Baldelli card. That's pretty cool. We'll put that to the side. Got a couple checklist cards here. We got some postseason highlight cards. We got a fan favorite Ichiro and Albert Pujols. That is pretty cool there. So we actually have some more. There's a young CC Sabathia and Roberto Alomar. There we go. We got a rookie. We got a Joey Meyer rookie card. It's pretty nice. So we got a little bit of baseball. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we have the sealed card here. We got three, uh, th three of the same player. Two of them are sealed. Chip Canyon. 
So we got two sealed ones, and we have one non-sealed one. And then we have an Aaron Matthews and a Dave Smith. So I guess this last one's kind of a little bit of everything. I thought it was just football, but I am wrong. So this will be the last stack, and we'll be done with uh, this blue box. We got a Ronnie Lippett. We got a Mike Refrero. Andre Water, Steve Swell. Let's see if we got anything. Here's a Winston Moss. Adam Vinatieri. This is from 2007, so a much younger Adam Vinatieri than today's uh, Vinatieri. Let's see if we got getting near the end of the pack here. Or not really pack. I'm sorry. I'm just saying pack. Um, There's a Bill Early halfback. These are pretty cool. These are older cards there from. 1992, Greg Coleman, Chris Miller, Merrill Hodge, Rodney Pete, Tony Franklin, Billy Ray Smith. We're getting towards the end. Tony Green, Brett Jones. And we're almost done. Eric Wright, Harold Green, and an Ashley Ambrose card. It says, Top's Finest Protection, Peel and Remove Coating. That's pretty cool. So, that will do it for today's video. These were the notable cards that were in this part. We got the rookie, Joey Mayer. We got the numbered 50 out of 250, uh, Rocco Baldelli card. The first edition, Tyrone Williams. The Michael Jordan baseball card. We got the Jim Abbott number one draft pick. Another Brian Pena rookie card and a star rookie, Corey Eldridge. And that, like I said, that will do it for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Next up, it will be the third and final part of this collection that we're going through. It'll be the red box, which like I told you, has a lot of stuff in it. And some of the stuff I saw, oh man, you do not want to miss it. That should be out Monday, I believe. But yeah, that's about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.